Imagine for a moment the hushed anticipation in a room filled with the world's top automotive journalists. The air is thick with speculation. For months the rumor mill has been churning out whispers of a phantom, a mythical engine technology known only by a code name, Project Yasaflux. Many believed it was just a fantasy, maybe a clever smokescreen. Others thought it was years, even decades away. Then, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz steps into the spotlight. He doesn't begin with sales figures or a new model reveal. Instead, he lets a moment of silence hang in the air, a sly smile playing on his lips. Whispers are fun, but honestly, proof is better. With a click of a remote, the massive screen behind him illuminates. Not with glossy marketing videos, but with schematics, performance graphs, and the clean, powerful lines of a physical engine block. At its center, emblazoned in a sleek futuristic font, is a single word, Yasaflux. The room erupts. The whispers weren't just whispers. The myth wasn't just a myth. In a single, breathtaking moment, Mercedes-Benz has just pulled back the curtain on the biggest automotive revolution in a generation, confirming that the engine everyone talked about in hushed tones is not only real, it's here. The era of speculation is over. The future of driving has just announced itself. Behind every revolutionary leap lies years of research, trial, and unspoken strategy. The Yasaflux engine is no exception. While many believe it appeared out of nowhere, the reality is very different. Mercedes has been quietly perfecting this technology for years. No flashy headlines, no bold promises, just relentless work behind the curtain. And now that silence has turned into their ultimate master stroke. If we look back, a wave of electric cars started rising all over the world between 2010 and 2015. Tesla showed with its models at that time that electric vehicles were not only the future, but also the present. During this time it became clear to Mercedes that if they wanted to maintain their hold in the future, they should not rely only on batteries. They had to revolutionize motor technology as well. At that time, Mercedes' eyes fell on a small but innovative company from Britain, Yasa. The Yasa company had already started research on the axial flux motor, and their initial prototype proved that this design could change the future. Mercedes saw this as an opportunity and gradually started supporting Yasa. Finally, in 2019, Mercedes took Yasa completely under its control. This purchase was the most important part of Mercedes's master plan. From the outside it seemed like a normal business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes then gave full funding and research support to Yasa. Over the last 5 to 10 years, millions of dollars were spent on this project, and hundreds of engineers worked day and night to make this engine a reality. The company kept this project so secret that even industry experts could not guess what Mercedes was doing. People just assumed that Mercedes was focusing on its luxury electric cars. But behind the scenes they were working on an engine that could change the direction of the entire auto industry. The second aspect of this master plan was timing. Mercedes never launched this technology in a hurry. They knew that if an incomplete or weak product came to the market, companies like Tesla and BYD would immediately ridicule it. So, Mercedes first tested it thoroughly, did thousands of hours of driving simulations, and tested it in every possible situation. Now, when they were completely confident that this engine would be successful, only then did they announce it to the world. This move by Mercedes clearly shows that they have learned a lot from Tesla. Tesla always enters the market with a lot of noise, but Mercedes has kept quiet and made its move at the right time. This is their master plan, say less, do more. So what is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it for a second. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Earlier, petrol and diesel engines ruled the roost. Then gradually, the era of electric cars came. But now, the name that is most discussed is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it and there is a lot of discussion about it all over the world. But what exactly is this Yasa Flux engine and why is it considered so special? Let's understand it in very simple and common language. Yasa is actually a British company that worked on the technology of this engine and later, Mercedes took it under its control. Now flux, that just means magnetic flux. Whenever a new technology comes to the world, the biggest question people ask is, will it reach the common people, or will it be limited to the luxury cars of the rich? The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it is clear that the flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, 
and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high, but this does not mean that it will always be expensive. As its mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of axial flux motors is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils and honestly, it's not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in lakhs of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is, without a doubt, the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few other countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may increase further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now the question arises, when and how will the Yasa flux engine arrive in future cars? Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. Its advantage in SUVs will be that despite being heavy vehicles, the flux engine will give more torque and more power, which will make the driving experience of the SUV even more fun. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque. Flux engines give more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. If we look at the picture after 2030, then the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today, every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars. Similarly, in the coming time, every company can move towards motor technology like flux. It is possible that in the coming 7 to 8 years, this technology will become so common that even cheap electric cars will start getting flux engines. However, the path to widespread adoption is not without its significant hurdles. The true challenge for Mercedes lies not in the engine's design, but in its execution at a global scale. The automotive industry is a brutal arena of cost efficiency, supply chain, logistics, and consumer expectations. A technology, no matter how revolutionary, must prove itself not just in a controlled lab environment or a limited-run hypercar, but in millions of vehicles driven in every conceivable condition across the globe. Furthermore, competitors are not standing still. While Mercedes has been developing its axial flux technology, other manufacturers are pursuing their own revolutionary paths. Toyota is heavily invested in solid-state batteries, which promise even greater range and safety than current lithium-ion packs. Tesla continues to innovate with its proprietary motor designs and manufacturing processes, constantly driving down costs and improving performance. Chinese giants like BYD have mastered the art of vertical integration, controlling their entire supply chain to produce incredibly affordable and efficient EVs. The arrival of the Yasaflux engine is not a checkmate move. It's actually the opening of a new and more intense chapter in the EV revolution. It kind of forces every player to reevaluate their strategy. Will axial flux become the dominant architecture, or will it be just one of several competing technologies that define the next decade? The answer, well, it's going to depend on Mercedes's ability to solve the mass production puzzle and on how the market responds to this new promise of power and efficiency. The conversation is no longer about if electric vehicles are the future, but about what form that future will take. And with the Yasa Flux engine, Mercedes has forcefully grabbed the wheel and is steering the discussion in a bold new direction. The race is truly on. But here a big question arises. Is this really the future of the EV industry or just another corporate promise? The history of the auto industry is witness to the fact that many times companies talk big, but their technology does not turn out to be that effective once it enters production and the market. The real test of the flux engine will also be when it is fitted in the vehicles of common customers and run on the roads. So now the decision is yours. Do you believe that the flux engine will really change the future of electric vehicles, or will it fade away like other technologies in a few years? What is your opinion? Do tell us in the comments. And yes, 